The two-time defending state champion Jinx Trojans did something last week that they haven't done since 2012, lose a football game. The Trojans lost their annual Backyard Bowl with rival Union 24-13. Coming into the last week of non-district play, head coach Alan Trimble sees several things his team must improve. Oh, yeah, we've got a good laundry list of things that we need to get better at. That's a good thing about playing a, uh, playing a team as, as good as Union. You always get to go out there and uh, find out what you need to work on the next week. Junior quarterback Cooper Nunley is looking to lead his team to a third gold ball and his second as the starting quarterback. Trimble likes what he's seen from his QB. Well, Cooper's a stronger kid, uh, throws, a, throws a stronger ball, a lot more familiar with what we want him to do and the expectations that we want him to, to have. So, uh, you know, he's uh, kind of picked up where he's left off in a little bit bigger and stronger fashion physically. And, and uh, you know, Coach Maddox, our offensive uh, coordinator, has uh, you know, been able to put a little bit more responsibility on him, getting us in and out of plays and things. So really playing well right now. And, again, I know he's a couple of those balls he would like to have back. But, again, game of that magnitude, you're going to go out there and try to do your best to win. One of the breakout stars in 2014 has been receiver Carson Epps. Epps has surprised many people around the state, but not the Trojan coaches. Well, I don't know if it's a big surprise. You know, he played behind Steve Parker and, and, and Dylan Harding, but uh, it has been pleasant to watch him come on and really grow in confidence. Great, you know, great spring track season. Uh, was on a couple of championship relay teams and a championship track team. So that, I think that really springboarded him, and then he had a great summer of work and, and uh, really has been catching the ball well with his hands. Looking at their week three meeting with Owasso, Trimble knows that it's going to be a fight. You know, they got a good defensive front. That's the first thing that stands out. Those guys really get good pressure. Um, they're good size. Uh, and, you know, obviously they draw a lot of blockers. So their linebackers and their safety are good tacklers. So, you know, defensively up front, they look really solid. Same way on offense. I love their quarterback. He's a tough kid. Came in last year against us and just made play after play. And I thought really kept him in the game. So uh, we have a great deal of respect for him as a, as a runner and a thrower. Uh, and, and then he's got a pretty good supporting cast, a big offensive line that's done a pretty good job giving him time to throw. Last year, Owasso nearly upset the Trojans in the first round of the playoffs. Jinx got by 14-10. to 10. Trimble remembers just how competitive that game was. Well, just that they, they, uh, they've got a great toughness mentality. They never gave up. Uh, and, you know, they came in. They were in the game, you know, late into the fourth quarter. So we understand that'll be a tough road trip. And, you know, they've got uh, the nucleus uh, – uh, well, a lot of those kids they have, you know, played in those games. So they've been there and they understand that they can they can uh, play with us. So, we, you know, again, we'll have to be ready to go. Michael Knight reporting, OKGridiron.tv.